I'm Craig, I'm 26 and I'm from Slack. As a child, pretty much a typical child, into sports a lot, I was just a young 14 year old doing what I wanted without a care in the world. On the 1st of September 2004, my life changed forever. I was riding my bike from my house to the park to meet up with some friends and I got hit by a car. I didn't lose consciousness, but I can't remember any of it. I woke up. Waking up with nothing below my neck, not being able to move anything. Paralyzed from the neck down and diagnosed a quadriplegic. That was one of the hardest times, you know, because I didn't know if I wanted to live like that. And I even had the discussion of switching the machine off. After a few days, I started to gain a little bit of movement back. And then that's when I went to rehab. My dad comes from the military, so he installed a sense of routine, which helped a lot. My friends and family were amazing. Sometimes when I think about what Craig's been through, it breaks my heart. Oh, if he can get through life with a smile on the face, then, you know, really, we all can. I think you need to have a bit of passion in your life. For me, it's wheelchair rugby, and I can dedicate my life to that. I like people to look at me and feel lucky for themselves, not sorry for me. I'm used to my life now, and I'm happy with it. I want to get this tattoo because people can see the physical side of what I've been through, but not the mental side. And this tattoo is an awesome way of symbolizing that. Oh wow. God, you were 14. Yeah, a long time ago, 12 years ago now. Obviously, physically, we can see what the crash done. Yeah. Like, mentally, for a 14-year-old, that must have been a struggle, right? I think where I wasn't quite settled into manhood yet, you know, I think it's almost better to do it younger. That's your way of life now, and when it happens younger, you're, it's, I think it's easier to get used to. So how long after your accident did you discover wheelchair rugby? I was introduced uh, sort of straight away at hospital, uh, so a couple of months after my accident, and I've been coaching for about a year now. You're Done my a first coach. Have yeah. you got a whistle and everything? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now it's got a lot more. I've just done my first international, so. Wow. Oh, wow, man. Well, there's no holding you back, man. No, I'm looking forward to coaching GB eventually if I can. Yeah. Oh my days, that's sick. Yeah. Well, what sort of? design have you got with you? Uh, I've got my design. Let's that see your five-year design. Yeah, have a look. Swing it over. Thank you. <sighs> Hope you're really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. Yeah, this is cool. Does that say, find strength in pain, shit happens? Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's what my dad used to tell me. And I think that the phrase itself is just, it's a way of accepting shit, you know? It happens. Yeah, man. <laughs> So the dragon and the lion is just sort of choosing to be bitter like a dragon or courageous like a lion. This is so awesome design. Thank you, man. I actually feel massively honoured today that you get to, no, it's to my pleasure, help man. you I'm glad on you your can. journey with us. Should we go and kick some ass on this? Yeah, yeah let's go. No, yeah. you're ready to look at it? Yeah, yeah. There you go then. Wow. Five years in the making, right? Yeah. Oh, man, it's awesome. I like the tornado. I like the dragon's head. All of it, man. I like how it just fits my arm perfectly. How does it feel to find out a bit on your skin? Awesome. It's almost not real yet. Yeah? Yeah. I've been looking at it on the computer and on paper for so long. Do you think you're going to get more? Definitely. First of many now, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll be coming back to you.